Okay, I'm Chris. Uh, there you go. We're going to talk about some uh, list formatting stuff. Got this lovely stuff here. Wow, 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 wow. So if we come back here and we like this, hit lists are great. You know, it's going great, but we've got, you know, we're expanding. The Warrior Horse is getting bigger and bigger. And so now we've got this idea of we've got multiple hit squads, right? And they each have their own team site. And they're like, oh, man, we really want this, right? So I could go and I could copy the list from thing to thing. But if I'm spinning up these hit squads all the time, lots of murdering to be done, right? I want to make this as a list template. Well, good news. We can do that. So everything we just configured in the UI, that's where you start. So you want to configure a list template, make it in the UI, apply everything you want, add all your views, get them all kind of sorted out and ready to go. And then you could head on over to PowerShell, uh, everyone's friend. And we do have a couple of requirements. You do need to be a uh, SharePoint admin role or a global admin, and you will need the SharePoint online PowerShell module. But in this case, you're just going to say connect SBO service, and you're going to want to connect to your, oh, you got to type in the HTTPS. Yes, type in your tenant name dash admin, all right, SharePoint.com. You're going to connect. You're going to prompt you to log in. I'm going to use another account. Go. Hey, good. I got my password right. That's always a good sign. All right, so now we're connected. And the thing you can do is we could say we're going to set a value to extracted, all right? That's just a variable I'm naming. I'm going to say get SPO site script um, list. And all we need there is the list URL. Now, in this case, the list URL is right here. It was originally called leads. We'll copy that. And we're just going to come up here and we're just going to paste that in. All right, we don't have the view part of it. Hit enter. And when we do that, we can take a look inside extracted. And you can see it has everything about that list has been pulled out, including our formats, right? So our formats are here. Everything we just wrote, all of that stuff is here, all of our different views. The gallery stuff is all here. You don't have to look in that. In fact, maybe avoid it. But I think it's very interesting to see that's what just came out. And then what we need to do is add a site script. So we're going to add SPO site script. Now, this is the site script that's going to run from the template. So we're going to give it a title. And this is going to say it's the hit list list. All right, because this is how we're going to deploy the hit list list. All right, say our description is adds a hit list, all right, and and our content is going to be that extracted. This will register as a site script to put that together. Now, the thing we're going to need is that ID. So grab that guy and copy it. And then we're going to run one more thing. We're going to say add SPO list design. All right, and we're going to say our title. In this case is hit list. And our description is track those that uh, be murdering. Murdering. <laughs> that sounds good. Murdering. Uh, you know, then we'll say our site scripts. Uh, that's where we're going to paste that ID we just got. And then we have a couple of things we have set is like list color, right? And we can see there's a couple options here. I said tab until I find one. Uh, green, that's beautiful. Um, and then we'll say our list icon. These are the things that are going to show up in MS list, right? Airplane, bug, uh, calendar. I'm going to say um, robot. I just have to know robots in there, and I like robot. Okay. And then the last thing we need is a thumbnail URL, right? So where do we get that? So what you're going to want to do is you're just going to grab a random uh, picture somewhere. Now, you could take a screenshot of the list, and, and that's okay, right? But a lot of times... Uh, that's not great. So let's just go to uh, Peckles. Is that what it's called? Peckles. Yeah, there's some free stock photos, and we're just going to say horse murder. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? None of these are really about murder, but that's fine. We're just going to pick uh, this tough looking guy. We're going to download that guy. All right, so now we've got this image. Now, normally I'd recommend you uh, update that. All right, so let's just open that guy, and I'm going to rename him over in my other window to uh, list template called hit list jpeg and all i'm going to do is i'm going to go to a site where everybody has access so my root site and the site assets i'm just going to grab that file and i'm going to drag it over here now normally you want to resize that file um, i think i just picked a really big one the size is about 200 pixels wide but about 120 pixels tall so about twice as big and tall we'll see how this one comes out uh, but that's the idea so i just want the address for a file that everyone can access so if i go back to my powershell that should be HTTPS, uh, pressedcanada.sharepoint.com slash site assets slash, what do we call that? List template hitlist.jpg. That sounds good. All right. So now we've 
put that in. And now if we go back to our Warrior Horses site, now yeah, let's uh, calm that down. In fact, any site we want to, we should be able to go new and we're gonna say new list. And we should have from our organization, hey, look at that, we've got a hit list. <laughs> you can see, I definitely should have fixed that image. The good news is I can fix this after the fact, right? Because it's pulling from that one spot. I'll just go fix the image and, and put it in here, right? But now when I click that, right, I get my green icon with a robot on it. I see all the columns there. I can say use template and hit list already exists. So we're going to call this hit list two, right? Or if we were putting on a different site, we could do that. And I'm just going to create that. And it will be empty. But if we were to uh, add one item, right, we'll just say, wow, E, right, none of this matters. And we'll just say it's uh, neutral, threat level is uh, four, right, and so on. Exit our thing. We start to see, I didn't fill all of them out here, but you see all of our formats, uh, including our additional row classes, all came across. If we were to switch over to our tiles view, all of that came across. So the list templates are really, really powerful. So I know I showed a ton and ton and ton of stuff. Uh, let's go and do a quick review. Custom lifts templates are really, really powerful. You know, because you design everything in the UI first, or you can get it exactly how you want it. Um, and then there's just a very handy, you know, three PowerShell commands. You extract it, register as a site script, and then you can put it up there. You can even do things like um, have those only available to certain groups of people, right? So you can keep that you're from your organization from getting too crazy, right? So if you're in IT, maybe you've got lists related to project management and so on. But if you're in risk, maybe you've got, you know, uh, risky things, I don't know, right? But the idea is you can go a little crazy with that. There's also commands to quickly delete these and recreate them as needed. All right, so there you go. Packed all that in there and uh, that's it for now. But check out uh, various tools on the site for all that documentation to find out the class listings and everything else and uh, reach out if you need any help. That's it for me. Awesome, thanks, Chris. So excellent, yeah. very, very cool. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, thank you.